Yeah, we can talk about the TikTok Congress stuff. I haven't watched the whole thing. It's fucking five hours long. But I've seen some of the juicy bits. I've made it clear I'm no fan of TikTok. I am, I am also very confident that there is a huge level of, like, spyware with TikTok associated with it. More than the CEO lets on. But holy shit, this congressional hearing or whatever has done nothing but make the CEO of TikTok look like a patient saint. Like an actual Zen master to deal with the unhinged lunacy and out-of-touch questions those fucking fossils were throwing his way. It blew my mind. It blew my fucking mind. And especially Ursula from Florida. Hold on, where is she? Her. Oh my god, she's so dumb. She kept asking him questions, but instead of letting him answer, she'd just say, Yes. 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 And then she, she pulled up a random shitpost on TikTok like, You see this threat? Oh, fuck me. It was ridiculous. Where's the sound? Yeah, so she pulled this up and she's like, look, look at this! Outrageous! It's not a viral post or anything, Show. by the way. That video was posted 41 days ago. As you can see, it is captioned me as F at the House Energy and Commerce Committee on March 23rd of this year. This video was posted before this hearing was publicly noticed. I think that's a very interesting point to raise. But more concerning is the fact that it names this chairwoman by name. Me. Your own community guidelines state that you have a firm stance against enabling violence Where is the uh, TikTok. We do she not just really tries to hammer this in ineffectively. You couldn't take action after 41 days platform. Where is her next? You damn well know that you cannot protect the data and security of this committee or the 150 million users of your app because it is an extension of the CCP. And with that, I yield back. Oh, this didn't get her whole statement. Hold on. You need to see the rest of her questions. Do they have... All right, you know what? I'll just do this. I'll just go to... Oh, where's the whole thing? Here. I'll just go to it here. Dude, who asked about TikTok using Wi-Fi? I don't remember, but I think they were trying to make a bigger point. And I, this is this is really giving a very charitable <laughs> bone to the person who asked the question. I think what they were getting at with asking about Wi-Fi is he was trying to state that if one device is connected to a network, it can access everything on that network, which it can. But he couldn't ask the question because I don't think he really fully understood it. But again, I'm I'm doing a very charitable service trying to even make some sense out of that awful question. Surely someone's posted, like, the clips by now. Only that one? Damn, I'm actually gonna have to scrub through the whole thing to pull up the rest of her shit. It's terrible. This accomplished nothing except making their CEO look better. Which, again, is a real shame. Oh, here she is. But it's a real shame because, again, I am full-heartedly believe there is a lot more fishy shit at play on the back end of TikTok. But they did not even get close to the bottom of it because they couldn't even wrap their head around what an app on your phone is. It's tragic. And they're all hung up on, like, uh, he, 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 actually, hold on. It, it's in here. Where's her... Ask you then if there is no threat to Americans, if there is no threat, but this website has been scrubbed for a half a dozen times in your opening test. Here we go. Yes. Our general counsel is. Yes. Uh, he's not. My colleague represent is Mr. Zhang Fuping is the editor in chief. He's not. My dismissed. colleague representative Burgess, just doesn't even let him say uh, it or talk. Minutes ago, exposed that TikTok and ByteDance share legal teams. You confirmed this, correct? Our general counsel is yes. uh, an American yes no. uh, lawyer, yes. veteran of Microsoft. Also, my Many colleague, years. Representative Lada, confirmed that your parent Fucking company, worthless. ByteDance, currently can access user data. Yes? Let's, uh, we have to be yes. more specific. Um, yes. After you Project say, Texas, no. I'm not asking after Project Texas, I'm asking now. Yes. Some user data is public data, Congresswoman, which so means everybody that. can search What's for What's interesting is that you have used the word transparency over a half a dozen times. So, uh... Ursula doesn't seem to understand that when you ask a question, you should wait for an answer instead of filling your own blanks here. So, her asking about the data that they're accessing, he talks about the public data, 
which is something every app in the world accesses, even that computer she's on right there, I bet she's logged in on Twitter. That uses all of your fucking data too. I bet she has a Facebook account. That not only accesses all of your data, it sells it too. All of these apps do that. What they needed to get to the bottom of is more in line with like, what is TikTok specifically doing with that data and how it relates to like the CCP and shit like that. But instead they're so hung up on like, public data? You're accessing public profiles, that's creepy. That's something one of the guys said. It's so fucking crazy. And for some reason, they don't even let him answer, so they get no no answers. They get nothing out of this. It is fucking worthless. It is a complete waste of time. They said they were watching children's public profiles, which was creepy. Everything's at watching every public profile ever. That's the whole point of it being public. It gets scanned in these systems. That's not exclusive to TikTok. Twitter does it. Facebook does it. YouTube does it. Everything does it. Literally everything. We threw away our privacy long, long ago. TikTok is just a little more nefarious, potentially, with what it uses that data for, at least based on, like, reports from a year or two ago. Not meant to be informational or useful. It's meant to grandstand for campaigns. It's actually tame compared to everything else, and, well, I guess maybe. It's still so stupid, though, because this doesn't do anything to further anyone's agenda here. Everyone that asked him questions today looks like a bumbling fucking buffoon. A genuine moron. Like, I feel like all this does is shake people's confidence in their elected representatives here. They couldn't answer a- or they couldn't ask a good question. Were they like this with Mark Zuckerberg? Yes! Yes, they were! It was just as bad with Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg sat in the same hot seat as this guy did, and he got bombarded with just as stupid questions. If I remember correctly, one of the Facebook questions was, um, do I need internet to connect to Facebook? Or something like that. We are, like, we, we are not getting anything out of this garbage. Thanks to the Prime Calarosa. The Google CEO too. I don't remember that one. I just remember the Zuckerberg Android protocol when he sat here and now I watched the decent bit of the TikTok one. Not the whole thing, mainly just through like long clips going over the wackiest moments. I think there was like only one... <clears throat> I think there was only like one congressman who asked like de a, a single decent question. Thanks to the Resub Zaza. Nelly and Vampire. What do you think their approach should be on this topic? Hand it off to people that understand it. Clearly, this woman doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. At all. She has no clue what's going on right there. And she clearly doesn't even want to get answers because she's too busy answering herself. So get someone who gets it. Have them ask the questions and come up with the questions to begin with. Delegate. This is clearly not her strong suit. She's not even old! That You can't just keep using the excuse of they're all fucking geriatric. She is not old. She is willfully stupid. And still tries to act like an authority on the topic. She pulled up a fucking 400 view shit post to try and use it as a point that completely fell flat. And then doesn't even let the guy answer her questions because she's too busy answering herself. I feel like those halo rings she's wearing around her ears are like pulling down her brain or something. Like, I don't understand what the point of her whole line here was. She got nothing done. Here's the five gift subs, Metalhead. I appreciate it. And the tier one fidget and the prime sovereign. And rain and the bits arrow and bong water. I that I couldn't tell you arrow. I actually have no idea. Yeah, this was it was painful to watch this shit. Absolutely painful. Here's a tier one nut. One oh six twenty six is the Wi-Fi question. And on a device in one pocket downloaded on your device and the other doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I believe Congress and DOD should address the continued use of TikTok on military installations as well as any use that depicts U.S. military operations. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? <laughs> Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand that. So if I have TikTok app <laughs> Again, this is being very charitable. I think the point he was trying to make is... When it accesses the Wi-Fi, it has access to all of your devices that are within that network, which every device that accesses your Wi-Fi does. That is factual. That is true. Which is actually something that happened to Kaya. He downloaded a tor- uh, A burglar broke in and downloaded a torrent, and it came with a virus, which infected multiple devices that were on his network. It is known that when you are on a Wi-Fi network, it connects to more than just the single thing that's connected to it. It's everything there. So I think his point was, 
Can it access my other devices? Which is why he's talking about like downloading on a device next to me. Shit like that. But the way he asked that question is so bafflingly stupid that even the TikTok CEO is like, fucking obviously it's going to access your Wi-Fi if you turn it on, right? Like, it's, it's just craziness. So have someone who understands what the fuck they're talking about be the one to ask these questions.